What's up, everybody? Welcome to Double Digit Double Woo! Episode Ten. Double D. D D D. Double 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 D's. Oh. Yeah. Right? No, I Whoa. Don't, no, no, I don't. Whoa. Uh, I don't get it. Hey, no, hey original. Digits, bro. I don't get. I don't. <sighs> double digits. I don't get on, it, bro. Double digits. <sighs> Oh, it's a boob thing. Yeah. Oh, it's a boob oh, thing. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right. You're still thinking about shitting. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> God, it felt so good. <laughs> For those of you interested, Bro, I took a no. shit. <laughs> it felt so good. I got, I got what a, is this? P.S. I, I love you? I got a headache. It felt so goddamn good. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right. We were at the gym. I was running. I could feel it. He like, actually cut our workout time. A little bit, but yeah, drastically, drastically because he's like, dude, I gotta take a shit. So I'm so like, bad. you know that there's bathroom things. Like, no, dude, not those public the bathrooms. Room, <laughs> no, no, in the public bathroom thing doesn't bother me. Yeah. The locker room bathroom, oh, yeah, it's yeah. different than a public bathroom. True, true. There's true. naked old guys in there, yeah, yeah, and they're just hanging out. Yeah, like I don't get that. I mean, I, I don't have an issue like. With other people, right? Like, right you right. know, if, if if like for me, it's it's how it's presented. Like if yeah. a dude goes from the shower to the locker real fast and he's yeah. naked, like that doesn't bother me. Yeah, you're yeah, in a yeah. fucking he's locker doing room. His thing. Yeah. But like the dudes that are just like, dude, 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 that's what it is. Looking in, looking in, looking he's on his phone. He's on his phone. Take a seat. You know, like open those legs. I'm like, like, come on. You know, he was standing. Do that in your house. Guy is on his phone, naked as shit, hanging out in the locker room. I'm not about it. It's yeah, just, yeah, not about that yeah. I mean, if you were going to be naked, that's cool. Just, just get to your fucking locker. Yeah, do your man. thing. Do Take a shower, get back, shave, something. Yeah. yeah. Carry. I mean, I, even at home, I put a towel on. Yeah, so yeah. I don't, I don't know. That's just a personal preference, I, just, I guess. I feel like it's always older guys, too. Like, they just get to the They've point where they... have lost their fucks. Yeah, just, oh, yeah. 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 That's what I'm like, <laughs> zero <laughs> fucks left. Dude, like, when we turn 60, dude, that shit, we don't give a fuck. Yeah, no. check it out, man. They're married. They just yeah. want anyone to look at them naked. <laughs> yes. Yeah. They're married. They don't care. Like, no one dude, else has seen them naked. No one's seen them naked. Yeah, I, was like, <laughs> I was like, dude, look at my rice grain. And it's like, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, there's nothing there anyways. I'm like, shit. There's like more hair than... Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. They're, they're all like, hey, you should it's be just in the... Hair. They're, like, just hey, they're like, you sure you don't want to be in the other locker room? And I'm like, oh, fuck, man. That hurts. Yeah. So I hope you're all having a good Monday. This is Zero HP, a, a gaming podcast. Oh, yeah, is yeah, it, that's right. You can believe right. it. Is that what it is? I know. <laughs> oh, I know. man. You should have told me. <laughs> oh, dude, we totally showed up to the wrong podcast. Yeah. We should go. This is the yeah. your podcast. We should go. We, the shit cast. <laughs> <laughs> the shit cast. <laughs> <laughs> that's a Zero HP after dark shit cast. <laughs> 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 what would that be? A-D-S-P. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. A-D-S-P. Bad. That's not bad. And yeah, we, it sounds we, very official. We answer your, um, you know, your after hour questions dude live, this could work know. and you can yeah. submit your shit pictures like <laughs> what what be, the well, hell I don't know no, if I want to no. watch this <laughs> hold on I want to look at <laughs> shit pictures <laughs> the hell out of here we can rate them you um, don't want to rate shit pictures no alright okay, how, how is that weird we've been that's, talking about that's, shit for 10 minutes 0 HP the gaming <laughs> podcast <laughs> What are you playing, no. Kevin? <laughs> um, okay, so I just we were talking about this earlier. We and were. I'm just like fucking torn, and I have no time. Is always like this is like a, a weekly complaint. Yeah, we always just bitch. Yeah. Um, right now I'm playing, of course, Overwatch. Still, you know, getting my rank up. Uh, but I am balls deep in Zelda. Woo! Breath of the Wild, and I fucking love it. Twenty hours into it right now. And um, I didn't expect this at all, to be quite honest with you, to like just like this game so much that the way that's that because I it was popular. You're like, I don't like popular games. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then so, what do you know? It turns out yeah, to be great. Turns out to be yeah. <laughs> yeah. Funny, funny how that works. Yeah. Huh? yeah. Well, if only um, we tried more games. Back, back to my, back to my games. I'm talking about so here. Um, but Zelda, yeah, I've been playing a lot of Zelda. Um, I bought Persona Five. And uh, I literally have not unwrapped it from the plastic. On his lunch break. Yeah. I'll <laughs> you bought Persona 5. <laughs> yeah, I went to the game, so I'm like, oh, dude, I'm so excited. I'm like, Brandy, uh, which is one of our, our co-workers. Shout out. Uh, shout out to Brandy, you know. And uh, she, she, she... Yeah. She, she did, actually. Yeah, she did. <laughs> she yeah. did. Hi, Brandy. And, you don't know me, but hello. This yeah. is Ian. This is Ian. <laughs> yeah, so, and then, um, so we went to go for lunch, and uh, uh, she drove by the game, so I'm like, hey. Can you can you drop me off so I can buy my game? <laughs> oh my God. Did you call her mom? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so she dropped me off and I bought the game. And so yeah, I, I haven't unwrapped it. I just don't have enough time. Uh, I get I've, that. I've, I've been also playing Total War. Uh, I started a Bretonian uh, campaign, so oh, yeah. I'm just like torn. I literally do not have time for anything 
Like, I go to the gym, I'm like, at the gym, I'm just thinking about, oh, dude, what am I going to do next in this campaign, or what am I going to do next in Zelda, and, like, all that shit. I'm just like, I can't even stop thinking about those games right now, so. But, yeah, that that's my uh, weekly complaint yep. of no time. I feel like we all are going to have a similar... what it is, yeah. What are you going through right now? Um, unfortunately, I'm ashamed to admit, I haven't really had time to play much of anything. Oh, it's no. been kind of a crazy work for me. Um, some personal shit going on. Oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, nothing, nothing bad. Oh, okay. No one I was died. Like, I didn't hear about no this. No one died or anything. <laughs> Mason's having a baby. I'm, but I'm having the baby. Yeah. Like, Cassie's not involved. It sounds to me like you already had it earlier. After no. <laughs> oh, my God. It <laughs> felt so good. Yeah. brown baby. It felt so good. <laughs> God. Anyway, not shit, Cass. Um, <laughs> no, I haven't. I, unfortunately, I haven't been able to play anything. I want to get back in Horizon so badly. Uh, I live vicariously through Kevin's Zelda stories, pretty oh, yeah, much. yeah. Because it uh, just sounds so good. I know. I wanna, I'm going to get a Switch so eventually. Yeah. In the next badly. few months. Yeah. Um... But yeah, when I uh, tonight probably since we're we're on Friday, uh, you guys listen to us on Monday. But for us, it's Friday. Um, I'll, I'm just gonna stay up tonight and just game. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what it'll be. Good. Um, uh, either GTA or Horizon, or I'll jump back into Hitman. Finally, play Chapter Three. Yeah. Um, just eat, something. Just something. chill out. God, yeah, I want to. I want to play games so badly. Same. Yeah. So that sucks. I know how that is. I've yeah. had weeks like that where you're like, oh my god, it's been a week. I haven't touched Should the control. I it, yeah. I don't like it though. I, we I bought GTA Five. We haven't even played it. Just Barely. Because I don't, have yeah, I don't know why you guys would buy games to play when we have all this shit. I know. I was like, have yeah. all this. It shit was to on play. sale. It was on sale. We're Kevin and I were talking about this earlier though. We're coming up on a bit of a break. Yes. There's Other a little, than a little, May, little, yeah, drought. Prey. Yeah. The game Prey comes out in the month of May, yeah. so I may not get it when it first comes out. Yeah. But other than that, we have till August, pretty much. I mean, for, I might be missing something. For Shadow of War? Shadow of War comes Woo! out in August, and it's the end of August. God, too, I'm excited man. about that game. So we get, a, like, this summer, I, I, I could, we're probably missing a game we're not yeah. thinking about that's big. But for the most part, like, that's going to, we have some time. Like, I'm actually, for the first time, I'm, like, breathing a little bit. I'm like, all right, I know I yeah. want to get the reviews from Aspect and Horizon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I have time. Like, there's not a bunch of shit uh, coming out in three weeks that I have to get all this done. Yeah, like, I'm looking forward to Persona. I want to try it as well. I've never played any of the other games. But, Neither uh, have I. Yeah. Um, I just, you they sound awesome. should. Yeah. And they're amazing. Um, they're like a splinter of the Shin- Shinogante Tensei uh, games. They're, like, really, really, really like, PlayStation old. Mm-hmm. Um, but they are uh, one of the best, like, one of the classic JRPGs, like, yeah. turn-based and all that stuff. So if you like... Say Final Fantasy, like when it was turn based. Yeah, yeah you you'll like this too. Uh, cliche stuff like you know you're gonna be a high school kid and all that stuff. The females have, have huge. Yeah, yeah, and it's very it's, yeah. it's very Japanesey, quote unquote. You know. Yeah. Um, but I I fucking love that shit because yeah. like you're living out an anime basically. Yeah. Yeah. And it's yeah, just yeah. like that's, that's which is the cool. Shit I love. Um, you know? I'm not a huge anime fan, but it still yeah. sounds like something to be fun. Yeah. Um, but honestly, it's on the like the the end of my list. Right? I can't stand yeah. anime at all, but yeah. But the game is getting like 95s. Yeah. So yeah, you to can't me, ignore it's like, that. Yeah, you can't ignore that. Yeah. Can't there, I guarantee there are people giving it high scores who don't like anime. Because yeah, like I, I have, not, there's not there's not every game reviewer in the world is not an anime fan. Right. You know? So right. it's like uh, that the the fact that it seems to surpass yeah. and reach people that are not necessarily into anime same, is what interests me. Same thing with yeah. Zelda for me. I've never been a huge Zelda fan, but because of the praise it's getting, I. I want to play so bad. Like yeah. more than anything, I want to play Zelda, but I can't because it's yeah. essentially a three hundred dollar game for me. Yeah. right now, almost four hundred. Yeah, because it's sixty dollars for the game. Yeah. Well, I've, I've offered Mason my. I was like, once I beat it, you can definitely. Yeah, but you won't be done with it for a fucking year or <laughs> something. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm twenty hours into it. And I barely. I feel like I'm maybe 15 percent done with the game. So Am I a poser because I hung that up? What? The Zelda? Game? No, no. <laughs> Wait, did you I've cut never played that? the game. Yeah, we cut it. You we, guys cut she it. Has okay. a, she has a like craft cutter that's a straight oh, we're line looking at, We're looking at a Zelda Breath of the Wild I poster. I framed a poster that we got from GameStop yeah. when... Uh, no, I... I I'm, I'm going to play it. Yeah, I love well, Zelda. I, yeah, I, I love that picture. Yeah. I hang up stuff that you know I appreciate. And, you know that You appreciate that, so yeah. you feel oh that say, fuck yeah. I can't wait to play it. You know, so. I'm not like a film expert, but I have a poster of movies and shit on my wall. Sure. You know, so... Kevin just has nothing but Witcher posters all over his apartment. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm surprised yeah. you don't have some of those ladies, actually. Uh, oh. Yeah, Siri. Those are... My cover photo? Those are in my bedroom. Then again. Oh, dang. Then it's again. Bank bank. They're for later, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my for God. For later use. <laughs> oh, jeez. You know, if you play Witcher, you can, like, really get... <laughs> it's true. You can get a lot this further in... <laughs> than hanging them on a the wall in your bedroom. <laughs> if you want to play the game. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. 
Um, yeah, so I... What have uh, you been playing, Ian? I have not played Mass Effect for over a week. Oh. oh. Yeah. It's not a good sign. <laughs> no, it has nothing to do with the fact that I'm not enjoying it. But mm-hmm. I'm playing Horizon, for one. Yeah. And Horizon came out first, so I want to get that done first, Fair so yeah. I can get that review out first. Fair yeah. Um, it came out first by, like, three weeks. Correct. You know, mm-hmm. so I, I really want to get that done first, and I feel yeah. like I'm about halfway done. Yeah. Um, Still enjoying it? Oh, yeah. I love it. I yeah. love it. I absolutely love it. Um, it sometimes can get a little aimless. Like uh, there's these things called cauldrons, mm-hmm. and you get introduced to them in the very beginning. It kind of like holds your hand on the first yeah. one. Yeah, I finished the first one. Yeah, but like I forgot what their symbol looked like, and for whatever reason, cauldrons are not labeled when you hover your cursor over them. Yeah, it's just like a weird like the first little one, triangular like symbol. A weird triangle. I forgot that, and yeah. so I'm like, where the fuck are the cauldrons? <laughs> and why aren't they <laughs> popping up for me? And then I like looked it up. I was like, oh, those are the cauldrons. <laughs> So I've got like three to catch up on, yeah. and so I'm going back. I'm like doing all these ones that I probably would have done a long time. They're ago. They're fun though. They're awesome. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're really interesting, right? Because they're so radically different from the rest of the natural world, mm-hmm. and then like this machine, all these pipes and wires hanging everywhere. That's and, not ooh, turkeys yeah, and shit. All industrial. Yeah, turkeys. It's, yeah, it's <laughs> com- turkeys everywhere in that. Game. And turkeys <laughs> and boars and foxes and uh, raccoons and all kinds wow. of like, little little creatures. Yeah. But yeah, so it's a really cool like change of pace, and mm-hmm. there's a lot of like stealth. I love the stealth in that game. Yeah, yeah I like great. the most about it. So yeah. there's a lot of stealth opportunities, and you know you're hiding and you're hitting those vents and mm-hmm. you hide in the mist, and it's cool. Um, so yeah, still really loving it. I just need to hunker down. Cool. Like this weekend, I'm probably gonna put like oh, seven yeah. or eight hours. Yeah, that's into the it plan. Yeah, this yeah. weekend. Sure. Um, and then out. so yeah, I didn't haven't played Mass Effect, and my nephew was over. He's a big Battlefield fan. Okay, oh, yeah. And we how, were just hanging out. How old's your nephew? He's 14. Okay. We were just chilling out, and I was like, well. I'll just buy the DLC because yeah. we both. He just downloaded, but he didn't get to play it. Oh, okay. Okay. and we were just hanging out. So I was like, "Well, how about every two deaths we switch your controller off?" Yeah, there you and go. I want to see it. Yeah. It's fucking awesome. Oh, really? The really? DLC is so good for shit, Battlefield shit. One. Like the French Army and the new maps, the new and the, the game mode. Yeah. Oh my god, I can't remember the name of the game mode right now. It's but good. basically, yeah. So what they do, you know, we don't play a lot of rush, but you know how mm-hmm. rush you have to go and you set the bomb yeah. on the telegraph right, things. Right, right. So each team has two of those. But in between those two telegraph points are three command points. Just three. So it like creates like a line. Yeah, a linear map. A yeah. linear map. Like a narrow map. Mm-hmm. And you have to you fight it's like World War One. Yeah. You fight over these points in the map. And sometimes if you get two evenly matched teams, it just goes back and forth. <laughs> and back and forth okay. and okay. back and forth. Until eventually there are there is like a ticket system. Yeah. So when you hold a the way they get it to move along is when yeah. you hold one of these points, you're t- you have you are now on defense and you have tickets. Oh. If you lose all those tickets, you lose that point and you, and you go back and then you're being pushed back. So that's how they get the game to end. I see. They last about twenty minutes. Okay, that's still um, pretty cool. Yeah, and so then when you're on your, your last stand, mm-hmm. you've got those telegraph points. you got to defend the telegraph points. If you kill all the offensive guys and you go and take that point, now they're on the defensive and they have the tickets to worry about. Ah, oh, wow. Okay. It's cool. really cool. And yeah, the new maps cool. are beautiful. One of them is the, the like the Flanders Fields, the poppy. You know, the poppy's oh, the sign of yeah. the veteran or whatever. Yeah, yeah. That all comes from World War One because uh-huh. the, the mulching of all the, the artillery fire. Yeah. You know, ground those seeds up and it would rain and they would grow. Yeah. So they had these really vibrant red fields oh, shit. of flowers that you're fighting in. It yeah. looks like nothing else in that game. Wow. So it's beautiful. They have like this one, it's a fortress, it's all broken, it's kind of like an indoor corridor map that has all these ridiculous choke points where everyone just throws grenades back and forth. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's got a lot of cool maps, uh, new weapons, Obviously, you get the French Army. Two new operation maps. Oh, so you oh, get a cool. shit ton of content. It's fifteen bucks. Okay, wow. It's okay. probably worth like twenty five. Yeah, yeah. It's magnificent. That's so cool. That's I've, really. I've cool. been playing a little bit of that. Nice. And then yeah, I, but the problem is like the other reason I'm not playing as many games is because I just caught the Total War bug again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm playing as Bretonia as well. I'm really yeah. far. I'm like over a hundred turns in, and it's amazing. And then Tim and I are playing the co-op campaign. I'm playing as the vampires, and I have this just evil army of undead. <laughs> It's gonna wreck everything. So. Hell yeah! It's awesome. Like it's it's cool. It's annoying to not have time and have yeah. all these games. At the same time, it's a great time. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. No, I definitely. I'm like I'm like upset about it, but not really because I'm really enjoying. Yeah. Playing it's just, it, so, yeah. And there's so much variety. Like if I'm like you know yeah. I don't want to go in the office and on the computer. I'm gonna play Horizon. Yeah. yeah. Or yeah. like oh well, this is not here. I'm gonna play Mass Effect. Just she doesn't yeah. want to see the story yet. Yeah. yeah. Or okay. you know so it's just vice. I have always have these options whenever I yeah. feel like doing it. 
there I haven't there hasn't been a time where I'm not in the mood to play anything because they're all so different. Let's let's be grateful for that. Yeah, you that's know, what I'm trying. Yeah, I'm trying to turn yeah, it around a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we, we were. Yeah, we're you know <laughs> not to about, yeah right? not to complain or anything, but yeah, we're pretty grateful that we have all. This these is going to be a, a hell. I feel like five years now we're going to remember 2017. Yeah, I like, think so too. It's gonna be a fucking hard. Red Dead Redemption, Shadow oh, of War. Sh- yeah, I forgot that's coming yep. out. Yeah. Shadow yeah. of War is coming out. Prey is coming oh out. Warhammer gosh. Two is coming out. Uh, there's Jeez. games I'm forgetting already. I, there's a rumor that that Spider Man game for PS4 yeah, is gonna come out I saw that too. this year. Um, who knows what PS4? If it's gonna be like God of War. Yeah. Uh, uh, for I mean, there's just so many things that could possibly yeah. come out this year. It's just it's just crazy. I kind of hope they all don't. <laughs> you know, yeah. not not that they all don't, yeah. but that like, some once, of them do not. Yeah. You know, yeah, they yeah. get delayed a little. Oh, yeah, some yeah. of them will get pushed into like the February. Yeah. Of course, spot or yeah, yeah, yeah. And and then we'll get run into the same thing we had this yeah. year, where we had a bunch of games in February and March. It's a good problem to have. Yeah, yeah. it was yeah. really cool. So, except for the fact that we still pay for them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and then we pay for every. <laughs> yeah, it costs time. a fuck ton of money. That's for dang sure. <laughs> um, yeah. So, uh, news, guys. Any, news. any final thoughts? Uh, oh, any final thoughts on that? No, oh, I thought you were no, asking no. if we had news. Uh, no. like, well, I, I took a great shit earlier. Uh, yeah, well, we, you already delivered that <laughs> news, right? We're not a 24 hour news cycle where we repeat everything over and over. Right? Yeah. Right. Um, so, our news topics we only have four today. Okay. Um, kind of a chill uh, <coughs> podcast. Excuse yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. It, it, was, it was the news. Some of the news <laughs> things are more interesting than they were like big title news. Right, right, right. Um, and some of them were, were pretty were pretty big deal. So. Yeah. Um, the first one is that Digital Foundry was invited to Microsoft, and they went over all of they they gave them all of the spec details for X the new Xbox that's coming out. The Scorpio. Scorpio. Mm-hmm. Um, pretty surprised by what they're shoving into this thing. They they it's like a high end PC. Yeah, that's what they were saying. They're like they want they wanted to make it comparable or competitive to high end PC owners and be like, hey, this is a good alternative. Um, but it's it really comes down to the cost. And so yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. I'm curious what they're gonna. Yeah. I mean, I would think fair price. I was looking at some comparisons. Like if they charge five hundred for it, you're saving about three to four hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, pretty crazy. Yeah. Uh, it's native four K. I don't. Do we care about four K? I feel like it I, is going to be mainstream at some yeah, point. Yeah. I don't care about it now. It's but getting I, cheaper I, and cheaper. I feel like year. three years from now. 4K is gonna be the new standard. Yeah, um, yeah. 4K is just fucking. I don't know if you guys have any seen. I have, I have not. Oh, uh, uh, it's like literally, it's better than watching real life. It's <laughs> yeah. it's yeah. hard to describe. Yeah. Games are already better than real yeah, life. I know. I it's like, hard to describe. Like when I when you see like a, it's also known as UHD, Ultra HD, it's oh, the same yeah. thing. Okay. Yeah. It's like if you go into a Best Buy or whatever, and it'll catch your eye because it's it's just it's hard. It's almost like you're in an airplane or something yeah. like, and when you see these cities, and it's you could just kind of. So if yeah. I played Horizon on a 4K TV... I don't know. Well, the thing is, and, and it would look amazing, obviously, because it's like the best-looking game ever yeah. made. Right, but yeah, yeah. on top of that, the PS4 Pro is upscaling to right, 4K, right, so yeah. it isn't quote-unquote true 4K. Native, yeah. Native right, 4K. So I don't know the difference. I, I doubt that your naked eye could really tell the difference, right, at yeah, least yeah. right now. Um, but this this does run at native 4K. The, okay. the Xbox stuff it has 12 gigs of RAM in a console. That's actually pretty really awesome. Impressive. Yeah, that's pretty that's awesome. Pretty impressive. Um, yeah, I was looking for the hard to, drive. I was Get looking to the hard for drive. Listen, it's got a terabyte. Terrible. <laughs> Not Ter- terrible terabyte. I don't know where I was going with that, but that sucks. <laughs> yeah. It depends. It doesn't me, suck, but it, it depends it on will the Ultra HD games that come out be Massive. 90 gigabytes? Yeah. Yeah. Then it's basically the same as having 500 gigabytes now. In the Slim now has a, I, I think up to a two terabyte hard drive, right? Am I wrong? It has at least one. Which one? The Slim. The, the Slim. Xbox there's Slim? they come in multiple. They have 500 terabyte and two terabyte. They have they have different skews. They have 500 terabyte. 500 gigabyte. Oh, okay. One terabyte. It's like that two is terabyte. fucking crazy. 500 <laughs> terabyte. <laughs> I was like, that's what? a server, <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, no, like, what? They have a 500, <laughs> a 500 gig, a one, and a two. Okay, right. Yeah. Okay, so they go up to two. So they have three skews for yeah. their for okay. their. Hard drives. Okay. Um, so there's a bunch of. Oh, also, while we're on Xbox, um, I saw or I was listening to an interview with Phil Spencer about the Game Pass. You guys remember the Game Pass? Yeah, it's coming yeah. out. He was saying what he hopes comes out of if they get enough subscribers to it. What he hopes to see happen is what happened with Netflix. 
hmm. which is where developers yeah. developers will actually just start to develop original games for, that, yeah. for, game for pass. these passes. That'd be cool. It's an interesting. I didn't, yeah. did not think about that at all. I I think that could work possibly. And Microsoft could start having almost exclusives yeah. via this pass. Yeah, I think it'd be strange to assume that it would work as well as it's working for Netflix. Because I mean, some of the Netflix shit you watch is incredible. He bad. wasn't like, "This is our plan." But he no. was saying, you know, he wants to see how that's that market he evolves, and he would. He he was hoping that that's what happened. Yeah. Right, which is, right, right. That's a massive change to gaming. That could be yeah as a, a game service, changer. Right? Like, I mean, you know pun there, but this could be a game changer, you know? Like, Absolutely. Just the way they're sold to us, the way we can They need to do something. Microsoft needs to make you gotta a figure something huge out. splash. They're doing a lot of yeah. shit. Yeah, they need to make a huge splash with this. Like, they... And they also read an article, and not, not to go off of the topic, no, but go they're, ahead. They're, they're saying um, that life um, cycles for consoles in this current generation are going to be much shorter than expected in the previous generation. And uh, I think we kind of got spoiled because we were at the prime mm-hmm. of the 360. Yeah. With yeah. that, almost li- what was it, like almost a decade. Well, like, and like that's eight years the thing is yeah. too. Like people, we all it, that was so long that yeah. we almost thought like that's what a the generation standard should is. Be, yeah. If you go back and look, almost yeah. every generation is about four to five years. Yeah, exactly. Only that one was, yeah, was almost eight long, years yeah. because of the recession. I think. Yeah. Oh yeah, I think that's what. It, yeah, that's like, actually a great point. No yeah. one was buying going to buy any consoles. Like yeah. fuck it, just keep making games for this, and we'll just push it back until yeah. things are better. So the. the yeah, that article is saying that expect these um, you know future consoles to be having shorter lifespans and not like the 360 or something like that. It's unfortunate for a guy on a budget. I know, right? And, but the, here's the interesting part about that. The Scorpio is kind of like a mediator between that because uh, from what I've read, the Scorpio, you can't switch out parts just like you would a PC. Yeah. yeah. So, he said, like, Phil Spencer was saying he wants to do that. Yeah. But he said, like, it's not shipping with a screwdriver. Yeah. Right, Because like, right, right, like, right. people were, he, they're being very nebulous about yeah. it. Like, we have to wait till E3. But you're right. He did say he wanted to be able to yeah. make it upgradable. Yeah. So that's why uh, I'm like, maybe that could be, like, for you, mm-hmm. a guy on a budget, be like, hey, I want to buy this and then later on invest on a new graphics card. Yeah. Or so, yeah. Ter- uh, two terabytes of instead of yeah. instead of five, you know five yeah. six hundred dollars down for a new console yeah. every five years, right, right, right. it's more incremental. Over but time. then I feel like why not just get a PC? PC, yeah, exactly. I've been asking you that for fucking forever. <laughs> well, I know, and I've I don't told have you what my PC thing is. I mean, obviously, I I forked one out yeah. pretty much for Total War, right? Yeah. But like, I play more games on my console just because I like to hang out out right, there. Right, I mean, yeah, that, that's yeah. really the only. I do know the PC is better. Yeah. yeah. But I can just get on, put my headset, click it in, get in a party, what's up, sit on my couch, my yeah. dog's right there, my big TV. You know, it's yeah. just a different... It I love them both. Yeah, I love them both e- yeah. equally. I just I just do that more often because it makes more sense. That's always my answer Like when I talk to, to you, Ian, or you, Kevin, or yeah. the infamous Jeff about yeah. why I don't have a PC. Fuck you, Jeff. Yeah. Dude, fuck <laughs> Jeff. Can we just all get a... Hey, actually, I'll explain later. Jeff... He's actually a pretty nice guy. He's actually really of course he's, he's a nice guy. guy. Or we wouldn't. He's like one of my favorite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. He, we all love him. Well, like, uh, if yeah. I didn't care about him, I would never talk about. Okay, him. yeah, fuck Jeff then. Yeah, yeah. no, yeah, for sure. Shit. Fuck the Jeff. Piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, God, I hate him. Um, but my answer is always like, no, I know it's better. I, I just don't. I've always yeah. played console, and I think it's just a force of habit thing. Yeah. Um, it's like you said, it's just comfortable to just relax and sit back. And, yeah, and big like, TV. And, and we've talked about it before. Um, in all three of our work settings, we literally sit at a computer all day. Oh, yeah. Eight, yeah, nine, sure. ten hours a day. H- here's, like, here's my question to you both. Were you guys ever bitten by the MMO bug when you guys were growing up? Nope. No. I, that I is... Ex- I think that is the sole reason why. It could very well because be. Because... I was in the RTSs. I, I played, played Age of Empires. I played, uh, yeah, yeah, Age of Empires. I played vanilla RuneScape. <laughs> yeah, no, I, on the on the browser or whatever. <laughs> yeah. I've kind of always been both. I've been playing yeah. Age of Empires the all the whole time. Yeah, well, I I think because like for me, like say Jimmy, Chris, uh, the examples are, mm-hmm. uh, we were all bitten by the MMO bug, like right. WoW, Guild Wars, yeah, all stuff, yeah. and like Jeff, we were like Jeff, yeah, Jeff too, yeah. Except, so we were all, like. In in our childhood, <laughs> in our childhood, we're like, you know what? I want a high end PC when I grow up, man. Mm-hmm. I was like, I'm gonna get, play all these cool games yeah. and like all this stuff. So like when I, you know, just to go back in my story, but when I first built my legit current computer, I forked out like thirteen hundred dollars. Yeah, my first download was World of Warcraft. <laughs> you yeah. know, that was my very first game. I'm like, dude, I can't wait. Even though like it came with like Watch Dogs and stuff right, like right, that. Right. I'm like, dude, fuck that. I'll play World of Warcraft. Probably better off this, playing like, World of Warcraft. Yeah, it's like 15 year old game, World of Warcraft. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, so I, I don't know, maybe that's a reason why. Yeah, could very, know? I don't know. And, and especially since... Um, it's a high barrier cost of entry. Yeah. It's actually cheaper. 
because games are cheaper because they're sold digitally. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you don't have to. Uh, the middleman's not there to make you pay sixty. Yeah, right. And you don't have to buy a fucking television. Thing is, we already own a television. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But like, if you're like, I want a Scorpio in a 4K. Yeah. You can be way it. cheaper to get a PC. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it, it's it's just increments. It depends on where you are at that time. So like, yeah. where you were, you had a TV already, you had a yeah, nice yeah. TV. So yeah. you're like, well, PS4 is like at the time you got it, it was like three hundred bucks. Three hundred bucks. Yeah. 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 I, I, I got, got it all these incredible I got it, uh, games. I got know? it on uh, Cyber Monday too. So oh, was, there you like, go. Like I had some deal with Uncharted and everything. So. There you go. And I think at the end of the day, like you will eventually maybe get a PC. I guarantee I will. It's yeah. worth having for me. It's. As a as a hardcore of a gamer as I am, it's worth having all three. I use all three oh, enough yeah, to absolutely. justify their costs. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we've talked about it before. Um, when I bought the PlayStation Four, I was still in that mindset of like, you have to just love one though. You can't yeah. love, you can't love yeah. both. That's and just then the I got corporate. the PlayStation Four, yeah. and I, I spent the money. Whatever, it didn't you know really notice after a while. And like, I just love it. I love having yeah. both. I, I assume it would be the same with a PC, yeah. es- especially mm-hmm. when most of my complaints with games come from like shitty frame rates and <laughs> yeah. stuff like that, which is yeah. never, n- almost mm-hmm. never a problem yeah. on PC. No, yeah. unless unless it's a game it's made a for console game, yeah. that they port unless like shit it's Arkham to the PC. Knight. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. That, yeah. that's the prime <laughs> example. Mm-hmm. Um, very final point on this is interesting. Uh, users, that I'm quoting a GameSpot uh, article. Users who own 1080p televisions will still be catered for with the Scorpio. Ultra HD rendering should be super sampled down for those 1080p dis- displays as a site, meaning games should still look sharper and perform better even if you don't own a 4K set. Okay. Mm-hmm. So they're saying it's still, you know, basically like, left it's out, still worth yeah. buying. If yeah. you're planning on getting a 4K, you don't have to wait and spend all the money at once. You can still get the Scorpio. Mm-hmm. It will improve your experience. And then when you get the 4K TV, you're really ready to go, and you yeah. can buy them at separate times. And you know what? Like I said, in three years, 4K is going to be standard, and yeah, that technology good, is going to be cheaper. Like $150 yeah. cheaper a year. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. And they're cheap I, now. They're like 1000 right? Yeah, we were looking at 4K TVs at work, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, it used to be like, what, two, dollars $3,000 for a TV. Mm-hmm. Now it's like four, five hundred on a sale or something like yeah. that. So I'm like, that's... Actually, how much around the same price that I got my current sixty-inch TV? So. I'm looking for a new TV too. Mine has my current TV has a lot of like motion blur issues and stuff. Oh, like that. Right, it really yeah. bothers me. And oh yeah. hell, yeah. that dude! I I as soon as I get any game, any game I play, I'm like I turn off motion blur because that shit is stupid. It doesn't even give me the option. Oh, there's it doesn't no give option. The and op- there's no um, there's no like PC mode for oh, the, the really? visual settings. There's a game mode which really helped. Yeah. Uh, you had an issue with like input lag yeah, with your yeah. current TV and yeah. it, not a lot of that. It, a little bit, but yeah. a lot of motion blur. Yeah, like, if I turn the, the camera in a game like Horizon, I can't even. See what's on the screen. Why would anyone put that in a game? I don't like. The game do doesn't do that. I, I don't. Yeah, it's the some the certain TV, game, right? yeah, it's no, TV. certain games do because I I know for a fact that PC games sometimes have that setting in yeah. the game. Oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Do you want that? And I'm it like, looks. It looks no. cool. I guess you I'm can't like, change no. a lot of that. But shit that's weird because I don't have motion blur for Horizon. Well, so yeah, because it's be not the color. game. Yeah, it's definitely the TV. It's an old TV. There might be some visual effect that is realistic, but there's not that that ridiculous motion yeah. blur that's yeah. in there is not yeah you, and I'm not clear. being dramatic you almost can't see that's that's crazy yeah, yeah. Are you like if I do a that? wide pan like if I turn yeah. you can't you have to stop okay there it is okay yeah, yeah. like it almost hurts my eyes to that's watch weird. are you going to invest in a 4k well I bought the TV you might as well. I, I bought the TV uh, five years ago Yeah. so it's comparatively an old TV yeah. I guess uh, I, I don't know if I'll go 4k again to me that's not a huge deal yeah but who knows I would do it because it's they're getting more standard costs now mm-hmm. between eight hundred and thousand for a decent one. Yeah, and like if you buy a cheaper, you know, current HD ten eighty p TV. Yeah, yeah. A year from now, every you're in now in DVD stage, and everything right. is using UHD. <laughs> yeah. and you're like, well, fuck! Now I got to right, right. everything that's being sold. Like I remember when Blu-rays first came out. Yeah. I was like, ah. You know, we're all, yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. And then suddenly everything's blue. We're like, well, fuck. I yeah. can't even find DVD <laughs> copies. Yeah, yeah. So you like, it's just one of those things that it, you you would save time and money by jumping into it now. Yeah. And then you won't have to upgrade for a long time. That's probably what I'll do. Yeah. yeah. And and they are re- they are af- affordable, quote unquote. Now they're yeah. not four thousand dollars anymore right. like they were yeah. a couple of years right. ago. Um. Cool. So we'll move on to the next one. This is more like. We don't have to get into like the game itself, yeah. but there's been other instances like this, and I'm curious because I kind of agree with both parties on this. Huh, so interesting. I'm okay. you say. So The Witcher dev, CD Projekt Red, had come out and defending their trademarking of the name Cyberpunk. Mm-hmm. And that made some people mad because they're like, well, Cyberpunk is not your word. That's the name of a sci-fi <laughs> genre. Right, right. Uh, you can't 
take the word cyberpunk. Yeah, that's you not. You can, yeah, that's not yours to take. You that, know? That's exactly <laughs> yeah. it, right? So that, that. So I totally get that reaction. Um, but he is, or he. Uh, let's see who it is here. Uh, CD Projekt Red. Oh, it just says that CD Projekt Red said this. Uh, Cyberpunk 2077 is a massive project, and we've already invested a lot of hard work and resources into making it the best game we can. We have to make sure we are the only entity that can use its exact name and naming scheme. Should we ever create a sequel, there's a possibility of someone telling us we're not allowed to name it Cyberpunk 2078 because someone else might trademark the word Cyberpunk, and they can't name their game Cyberpunk anymore. I get that, but if they can't, like say you know they can't monetize or you know whatever that right, is right, right. It's the word type then there's no one else should be t- able to either like what the hell yeah I, I don't think it's that they can't i think it's like should we isn't that the thing like well I don't know if they should, so their, should their response to that is like well you still don't have to do that mm-hmm. they said a trademark is not a copyright or patent these yeah. are totally different rights and should not be confused a registered trademark does not prohibit any party from using the word cyberpunk if yeah. it's not in used in the course of titling a business or product, it also does not give any exclusivity to set a game in a certain environment or in a certain genre. Use of a protected word in a title may be prohibited only if it could confuse customers. If someone names their game John Smith, Adventure Set in a Cyberpunk Dystopian Society, or 20 Short Video Games Set in Cyberpunk Worlds, mm-hmm. none of them should be treated as infringement of our rights, and we would not pursue that. Yeah, I, I, Of course I get that. Yeah. I totally do. But how about, here's another alternative. How about you just think of another name <laughs> for your game? Yeah. Like you know, if you're worried about your 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 name of your game being dragged through the mud, you know, yeah. why don't you? Well, just, I mean, Halo's trademarked. Yeah, yeah, I get every that. game of Call of Duty is trademarked. Fallout but, is trademarked. Like you said, though, those aren't genre names. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like cyberpunk right. can cyberpunk well, Fallout is a, genre. is a little bit, but yeah, yeah, cy- yeah. cyberpunk yeah, is Fallout cyberpunk is a genre. So, yeah. but that, that's what they're saying is like if you were like uh, this is a cyberpunk film, they wouldn't sue you for it, right? Yeah. yeah. But I think of freaking Bethesda. Remember Bethesda sco- sued that company that made a game called Scrolls? Oh yeah, they don't that. own the word Scrolls. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying. If and they uh, the judge, you know, sided with the people in the Scrolls, right? Then they say that you don't. It was own just the called Scrolls. Yeah, yeah, you, you, know, yeah, you don't own Oblivion the word Scrolls. Now, if it yeah. said if it said Scrolls of the Elders, yeah, it, Oblivion. Okay, I <laughs> get that. Yeah. That makes sense because yeah. now they're trying to confuse people who are not super familiar with their brand, right? right, right and right. it's causing issues, and people are buying something else that's not even what you originally. So what if? Well, what if? Someone names our game Punk Cyber. Punk Cyber. Yeah, it's like. I mean, I don't. Yeah, I, that's a weird name. But. Yeah. <laughs> punk so is it's a, Cyberpunk. What, yeah, where <laughs> Punk is the the name of the character, and the game is in cyberspace. Dude. Right. Punk <sighs> Cyber. Could be. You're gonna be Could rich. Be. But no, I'm just saying. So yeah, I, I don't know. I, I get your point of view. Like you. I, I like both. Sides, I, yeah. I don't. I, they both have caveats that are the, and, yeah. and points that make sense to me. Yeah. Um. I mean, I'm not freaking out over them trademark. I, it's, I think it's interesting that people even notice because every game title just about has been trademarked. Yeah. yeah why yeah. isn't it? Like, yeah, I, I, I think they you're didn't totally get mad right. when they trademarked The Witcher name. Why? Right, why? Yeah. I know? think you're totally right. I think both sides have really good points. I think the whole idea of trademarking a word seems strange. Yeah. yeah. But you're right. When it's a title, it, it makes Anything, sense. You know, yeah. yeah. Walmart, Target. I, I immediately GameStop, go back to. Um, do you remember the the whole Fine Bro situation? Fine Bro. When they tried to trademark the uh, the reacts. YouTube video Oh, thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. People yeah. lost their shit yeah. about that. And they were like, well, we're kidding. We're not going to do yeah. it. Like, they weren't kidding, but... Yeah, yeah. yeah they so, wanted to, like, try and own the word. Yeah. Yeah. People yeah. are like, you can't do that. Yeah, there's you. React not, videos all over the place. But yeah. there's are the big... The ones you think of, like, yeah. you know, uh, fucking senior citizens react to yeah. whatever, yeah. you know, yeah. Asian porn. Like, what? stuff like Whoa. that. Okay. Bukaki, you know. Whoa. Whatever. Are those not... No? no. Well, not on no, that just, channel. That just not, got really... Like, is that the first thing that came to your mind? Did like, you not... <laughs> Asian porn and then Bukaki. Yeah. No, He's senior, really up that out. Senior yeah. citizens react to... Asian bukkake. And no, the disturbing thing was he looked at me when he said yeah. that. So, like... <laughs> I thought we had a connection. <laughs> I, I thought... I was like, hey, man, I don't run, like, bukkake I thought like, you would immediately look at me. I thought you would... I don't run like bukkake dens in the weekend, bro. <laughs> it's not like a hookah lounge. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> <laughs> How do you know, Mason? Look, I don't want to talk about it. Um, but that's immediately what I go back to. I, I can't think of many other <laughs> examples. No, yeah, I just, I don't know, that's weird. Like, the scroll thing is another right. example yeah. that comes up. And I'm like, that's just weird. But, you know, just let them Whatever. figure it out. Like, it out. I don't think it'll ever cro- yeah. cause a problem. The, the other thing, too, that I'm surprised by is, like, that company has 
proven to be like extremely pro consumer and pro yeah. gamer, and I don't really see them infringing upon those rights of the use. I don't see them caring about it unless they think it's uh, someone trying to rip off their game. Kevin, yeah. This isn't for you, Kevin. Ian, remember when you opened Witcher for the first time and it had that thank you note in it? Yeah. Dude, I got emotional when I read that. And they signed... Well, I, I have the collector's edition and inside the box, every single developer has their signature. Oh, no all way. All throughout the inside. God damn it. All of them. Yeah, and then they give you... You open the game, there's a big thank you note in there, and they talk to you all about their making of the game and, like, how you support everything, and fucking they love you so much. Beautiful Polish people. They're so cool. Polish people. It's <laughs> such a cool fucking company, man. <laughs> They're just the best. Hey, Kevin, you should play Witcher. Someday. <laughs> Someday. Maybe. <laughs> Are we not going to go there every episode? <laughs> <laughs> I've given up. I've given up. <laughs> Good choice, Ian. Good choice. Yeah. You just got to take my wallet away from me so I can't buy new games yeah. that come out. Then you probably own it, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, it was yeah. given to him yeah. as a gift. It was given to me as a gift. Oh, was it? Yeah, yeah it was. <laughs> well, not by it, me. It, yeah. Oh, oh, I thought it was by you. You looked me dead in the soul when you said that. Like, No. It was yeah. given he, to But him. he got that game for free. As a gift. <laughs> and he still won't he play still it. He still won't play it. <laughs> so if I buy if I buy you Horizon, did I not play no, Gone Home? He won't though. play Horizon. You did play Gone Home yeah. because it took you an hour. But and Gone half Home to is beat. two hours. Yeah, <laughs> and there was lesbian sex in it. Hey, I didn't know about that wasn't before. Really in it. Oh yeah, yeah it was. It's, I didn't. Know if that. you have a creative imagination, it was in it. Oh, you, if you watch the Let's Play, if you watch that <laughs> shit was in it. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> I was like, you I don't make a very good lesbian, Kevin. I'm sorry. <laughs> that shit was. Yeah. I was like, I was like that one note that I was like, it get like that one scene where you were reading the note from yeah. your sister, and it tells oh, you about yeah. how the first time she did. I was like, and it just like puts it away. Puts it away. I was like, oh, I gotta read that yeah, shit. Yeah, I was like, and it wouldn't let you. Yeah. That's so brilliant. And uh, you yeah, you googled it. Yeah, and, I googled and you googled it. what the note. And said. then I read it out loud to my uh, audience. Yeah. To your audience yeah. consisting yeah. of me. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, it got weird. Got weird. <laughs> <laughs> I started sweating. <laughs> I had to pause the stream. Yeah, I was like, "Let me, uh, let me take a break, you guys." <laughs> Excuse me. All guys. right, next topic. Let's go. Next topic: Mass Effect Andromeda patch goes live. All right, they fixed a broken game. Woo! I doubt it. Uh, <laughs> can't fix shitty writing. Yeah. yeah, I know, right. Um, um, a lot, of, a lot of it was graphical. Yep, uh, much anticipated overhaul patch one point zero five has now gone live. Promises to fix many bugs and technical issues and create a better player experience through a number of gameplay improvements. They have a picture of the woman who says, "My face is tired." That oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Addison. Is oh yeah. Name. See the difference though. Oh yeah. So um, I did oh, see. I think it may have been Gamespot. They did a side by side comparison video, mm -hmm. and um, she was she yeah she was a huge difference. Um, some of the other ones I didn't really notice a difference. It as was much. their eyes that they yeah. They, I did notice a little bit of the eyes were being really weird, but um, I did I for me because I haven't played the game, so I didn't really notice the. I, two. I haven't played it since the patch went live. Oh, okay. I'll have to download the yeah, patch probably yeah. tonight and play. Okay, it. Yeah, try it out. And we'll, I'm I'm really curious. Uh, Fifty I, gigabyte patch. They haven't. <laughs> the one thing they did not, I don't think, uh, you know, didn't upgrade or um, update is the running animation, which is no, it does. It tweaks yeah. uh, tweaked uh, riders' movement when running in a zigzag motion, which would give the full diaper effect. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. The full diaper. Effect. <laughs> <laughs> they crouches down. And they're kind of like half. You should trademark that. That was, cool. <laughs> full that was actually Tim. Oh okay okay. So he should trademark. Shout out to Tim. Full diaper. Yeah. Well, I mean, full diaper effect is me, but he said it made him look. You like just gave credit to Tim running around and then took diapers. it back. Hey. Right? <laughs> he's like, he's like, wait, wait, wait before he's we like, wait, credit don't Tim, give, don't give Tim a shout out. Yeah, oh, I just shout gave out. Tim a shout out. Okay, shout out to Ian. Tim, I'm sorry, it's Monday, buddy. All right, um, let's see what else it does. Oh, it fixes. But I haven't even touched multiplayer. Oh, I yeah. I didn't mm -hmm. Horde mode. Yeah, yeah <laughs> all right. Uh, they um, actually, I did read an article. I think it was Eurogamer, where they said that the multiplayer was more complete and more. I don't know, like more in the, engulfing than in the, the campaign. Yeah, than the campaign. Oh, like they're all like, Jesus they're all like when the, the the title of the article was like when the tacked on multiplayer was actually better than the game. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was like, holy fuck! I was that like, was for damn. Andromeda. Yeah, Andromeda. Damn. Yeah, I was like, wow. oh wow, going in. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. So yeah. the bullet points for the update is more options and variety in the character creator. Great, thanks. I've already created my more character. Asians. There were already a lot in there. Uh, improvements to hair and general <laughs> appearance for characters. Ongoing improvements to cinematic scenes and animations. Improvements to male romance options. For yes. Hell yeah. Finally. 
Uh, adjustments to conversations with Hanley Abrams. Okay, this is. Did you guys hear about this? No, sure. I, I didn't. Hanley what? Abrams is the was a classic example of awful character writing. Ooh, okay. Because tell. I have not do talked tell. to her in the game. Yeah, do, do tell. But mm-hmm. I've heard, I had already heard about this. Yeah. <laughs> so she is a trans character. Oh, okay. she's transsexual. What? Hmm. Trigger? And trigger? No. <laughs> not at all. No. Okay. Inclusion in the beginning. The decision to put something in there does not upset me. Yeah. How are you presenting that? And are you just oh forcing it did, down someone's face? Did she say she was trans. Like, Hi, I'm transgender. Time. Hi, my name is Blonde. I'm transgender. Yeah. <laughs> so if you if you don't know how to deliver that, because like the the most powerful way to to bring diversity, if you're not is is if you don't really care about it, right? right, right. Because that does not define a human being. The only reason it seems to define people now is because they are being. Persecuted, right, right, right. and therefore they feel the need to be proud in their gayness or transgenderness because yeah. people are actively going after them. Yeah. Okay. If you stop that, you know, if you if you, no, I'm not. I'm like, yeah, I'm white. Yeah, you know? I know. yeah, I'm straight. <laughs> I don't. I don't feel that that is not right, right. Uh, define, define me, yeah. me as who I am because I'm people aren't attacking me for that. Right, yeah. So as soon as we get past our bullshit, yeah. we won't even really bring it up anymore. Yeah. That's how it will work. So. I don't have an issue with it being in there, especially since we're way in the future. We yeah. should be a more enlightened culture right, yeah, anyway, right, right, so right. whatever. But, yes, you walk up to her, <laughs> and she's like, Hi, my name is Hanley. I have a dick. <laughs> <laughs> her voice gets all deep. <laughs> I'm transgender. I, I came here to change... To, uh, change who I am and change my name. My previous name is this. She really says what it. The she fuck? says, "Yeah, I'm just transgender. straight. Yeah, just oh straight up. God. Like you, fucking idiot. Stop. Yeah, that's the worst uh, dialogue I've ever heard. I mean, it's like I was joking. She just no. She the, does that. Oh and then the, the worst part of it was not even the trans part. It was that she was like, I escaped because of whatever reason. I, don't, I haven't talked yeah. to her yet. Yeah, uh, I, I came here to escape my previous life. I changed my name. My old name is this." Yeah, and so she you, gives the dude her old dead name. <laughs> what? Why? What? Why? You came here to start a new life. Yeah, why? It's just like it, just the shittiest yeah. possible. So God. they apparently they changed. It was such a big deal. Yeah. Because uh, it if they managed to piss yeah. off bigots. Yeah. Who were like social justice warriors, <laughs> and they managed to pick off people who care about that shit because yeah. they're like, wow, way to force this down our throats. <laughs> right, right. Instead of making this re- person a real human being. And not making that their number one thing. So, right. really interesting uh, issue and incredibly terrible. Here script is a good example of how that actually can work out well. Remember, remember Mass Effect Three. The, your pilot, I think it was Cortez. I yeah, think his name. That was perfect. You, you don't know he's like uh, gay until like uh, Way near the end of the game. game. Yeah, 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 like he's like, oh, my husband died in the war. And that's like, it. Yeah, that's, that's all. It. My he husband. Says that. Yeah. yeah. He just yeah, mentioned, you go, that. oh, he's gay. And you have to talk to him a lot before you can get yeah, that yeah. from him. You, you kind of already kind of have an idea of yeah. who he is, and you yeah, kind of right, like right, it. Right, exactly. And that was the same thing with, with Last of Us. Yeah. Big spoilers for Last right. of Us. Dude, Dude fuck you. And, yeah. and, play and Mass Effect 3. Kevin. Yeah. And Mass Effect 3, right? Hey. So, <laughs> we I would love to sit down and play it. Um, so, that game, you get through the entire game. Yeah. The DLC, which is like a prequel. So good. Shows you that she is a lesbian, right? Like at the very end, yeah. so people play through that entire game, yeah. fell in love with that character, right. played through all of the DLC, continued to fall in love with that character, and at the very end, they were like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> but that's perfect because it didn't yeah. matter. It had yeah. no bearing it's, on what was going on in that story yeah. at all. Yeah, she's just it's who she is. She's yeah, just out. It has nothing to do with it. It doesn't define you as no, a person. She's, like, that shouldn't just she's be just your, like, who she is. That shouldn't be your fucking opening dialogue. The hi, fuck? Hi, yeah. I'm Ellie. I'm a lesbian. I'm a lesbian. Yeah. 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 Like, I, like, I feel like if, if I was just go to be like, hi, my name is Kevin. I'm straight. Straight Asian, Asian male. Yeah. yeah. Like, That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you know, like straight Asian male, fuck? comma twenty five. Who the fuck <laughs> says that? Nobody like, says yeah, that like, shit, dude. Oh God. God! Yeah, I mean, you're trying. If your if your attempt is to normalize that shit, yeah. that's not what people do. Yeah, that's <laughs> not how people do it. Hi, I'm transgender. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking a! It's so. It reminds ridiculous. me of that meme. So there's like, apparently there's a meme of like he's like this guy that lives in the UK is the very first transgender Muslim. Yeah. Like, did you hear about that? Yeah, I, I was like, like yeah. what the fuck? I was like. What? No, uh, wasn't it wasn't it tra- mean, like trans Muslim? Yeah, trans Muslim. Trans Muslim. Yeah, yeah trans- not wait, transgender so, Muslim. So yeah. what? So what was he born? 
Okay. No, it's not transgender Muslim. Yeah. It's trans Muslim. Oh, yeah. wait, so it's not a sexual orientation? I don't think so, right? No, no. He, so he's, thing? he's still male, but he is being submissive in the Muslim culture. So he thinks he's a woman in the Muslim oh, culture. Oh, okay. So, yeah. he, okay. so he is he transgender a, yeah, yeah, in a Muslim qual- world. Yeah. He, he wears a hijab and everything like that. It was like, it's. I'm like, whoa, that's weird, dude. You know, like... What? Or he just wants attention. Yeah, or that too. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah maybe if he's coming out yeah. and be like, hi! Yeah. <laughs> it's a little. Hi, I'm transgender. <laughs> hi, I'm a trans Muslim. Trans Muslim. <laughs> yeah, that's, that is. Even that though is, I'm obviously a normal white male. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that is pretty weird. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a lot of, there's a lot going on. There's a lot to unpack, right? There's a lot to unpack there. There's a Jeff lot wants to know. On. What time we will be at? The uh, it's we're at forty-five minutes. We only have one topic left. Yeah. Tell them half hour, thirty hour? minutes. Yeah. Tell them thirty to forty minutes. Should I put ish? I can't wait that long. <laughs> I'm still hungry. <laughs> Jeff, just eat now. You'll be fine. You'll be hungry later too, eat man. Now. You're a bear, bro. You're a bear. By the way, since in we're constant about, hibernation. Since we're talking about Jeff, I just want to bring this up really quickly. Transgender. Uh, <laughs> Hi, I'm Jeff. I'm transgender. Hi, I'm Jeff. I'm transgender and a bear. I identify as a bear. Uh, a bear. <laughs> but no, we uh, Jeff and I talked. Um, you know, we uh, he has the connections to make T-shirts, right? Ooh. So we are possibly getting new T-shirts. Um, can they be black this time? They will be black this uh, time. Sure can I, can I get moves. one this time? Yes, you can get one. Yay! Oh, okay, thanks. Uh, logo. Jeff actually may be redoing our logo. Yeah, because he, so. he's a great artist. Yeah, he's a great artist, but he's fucking lazy as shit. Yeah, he's like, super damn it. He's a piece of shit. God, Jeff. Jeff, we love but, you. Yeah. I hope you know that, but you're a piece but of he, shit. He, <laughs> so he's wanting to do the um, lo- redo the logo. My question to the audience here is who would like a shirt? Who would be another separate question? Who would be willing to pay for a shirt? And, <laughs> Please. Yeah, and then who and like you know what sizes are we talking about? Um, we are talking about pricing and stuff right, like that. Right. So um, I think the, my very first batch of our shirts, the very first one I bought, um, that was just kind of more of this for you know, for us. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. us. You got impressed with your but Christmas gift. The more and more that you know, I wear it, and people are like, "Oh, what is that?" Yeah, we know, have ninety two subscribers. Yeah, now. yeah. People on, want on our shirts. So shout I'm like, out to you guys. Yeah, thanks. The I real MVPs. Yeah. Oh, okay. So if people thanks. want shirts, please leave a comment saying if. You know, because if we get enough people saying we want shirts, then we will definitely invest in some shirts to uh, sell, uh, possibly give away that merch. You know, so, yeah. <laughs> that merch, that though. merch. Yeah. So yeah, uh, uh, let us know in the Oops. comments, of course, and. Uh, yeah. yeah. So what, what do you what do you think? I said that merch though, like right into the fucking mind. That merch. <laughs> <laughs> it's like massive on there. Yeah, uh, that's, I think it's a fantastic yeah. idea. Yeah, dude. I'm, I'm thinking about it, so I was like, that'd be nice to have our shirts. We can finally add Mason to our uh, banner here because he. Dude, uh, as I just looked over that, I got really sad. I was Come like, on, oh, the banner, bro. I'm still yeah. not, you know. Yeah. <laughs> hey, well, you I mean, have a logo shirt. I know. Bro. Bro. I mean, you can borrow my shirt for yeah. a moment to take a picture. <sighs> No, I need mine like custom. Custom. You know, like, custom. Gosh. He's, he's you like, don't, you don't I fit need... these these bumps. <laughs> I, he's like, I'm looking. I, you're I, a little <laughs> rotund and you're kind of crooked. Yeah. I he's really like, don't need your shirt. Right. Like, can I request one with camouflage? Can I get a, a oh, slim God. God. Can I get a oh slim fitting God. slim fitting camouflage shirt? Get please. the fuck out of here <laughs> with that. Um, where did that come from? I don't wear anything yeah. camouflage. Hey, <laughs> hey, Mister Hunter <laughs> slash Gatherer. Come on. I have gone hunting <laughs> one, one time. And sh- shooting paper birds. Yeah, I definitely do that. Yeah, I, I do that a lot. Fishing. You know, you go fishing. What is wrong with fishing? Fishing is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> what is wrong with shooting at paper birds? Nothing. I'm just saying that that's through your lifestyle, so you choose that to be my invisible while you're you doing it. You think I wear like a ghillie suit <laughs> when I do it? Like moments ago, we were just saying how you're like... Fucking gender doesn't define you, or your <laughs> sexual your sexual identity doesn't define you. But but if you want to shoot a paper if you, bird, if you shoot a paper birds, you are not defined. You obviously that is your wear, lifestyle. You obviously, wear a ghillie suit everywhere you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man. man! But uh, yeah. So again, yeah. fuck yeah, Let dude. us know, people. Um, we're gonna put it on, uh, post on our Facebook page as well, asking if people are willing to purchase a shirt. So uh, that would be hugely, hugely, yeah. hugely appreciated. Yeah. So I mean, that will only the the profits of the shirts will also, of course, go to our funds of making videos, purchasing gear, getting you one of these suckers. Uh, yeah, getting me yeah a nice. Oh, Ian pointed at the mic. Stop nice having 
mic yeah. issues when yeah. we're recording <laughs> Total War. So, yeah. Um, a lot of stuff. So, yeah, we appreciate it if you guys you want the ones. If not, then that's fine, too. We can just get one for ourselves yeah. or whatever. Um, but, yeah, let us know. Jeff knows the hookup. And, Jeff, please yeah. fucking do an updated goddamn logo for us. God. Yeah. God. Did he do your guys' original logo? No, we had a, a, a mutual friend. Friend of a friend. Taylor, yeah, friend of a friend of Taylor. Uh, Andrew, if Andrew's listening to this, uh, we appreciate you doing our logo. We've been using that forever now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, cool. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Cool. Yeah, just my little blurb there. All right, last topic. Last topic of the yeah. of the evening here. Yeah. Um, I apologize, Mason, for the last topic of the yeah, evening. Yeah, I'll go. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, you don't have to leave, because if you leave, you're going to open the door. It's going to make sound. Yeah, and the dogs so. will come in. Oh, that's why you don't, don't be quiet <laughs> and annoying, all right? Yeah, don't be quiet and annoying. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I'll try. Yeah. No, uh, but I would actually, I wish that, like, I used to play Total War with my buddy, like, yeah. sitting down. Like, we'd take turns and, like, run our little empire. We should do that sometime. It's fun. I can yeah. teach you how to play the game, because it's mm-hmm. fucking awesome. I would love to learn. I would love to learn. I feel like... This is interesting. Believe me, I am. Um, when I was watching you guys, well, not watching you guys, but you guys were watching that YouTube video earlier mm-hmm. of that dude breaking down all the, the factions and whatnot, mm-hmm. I had, like, an epiphany in which if I spent the money on a PC, that seems like a game where if I played it, oh, hundreds. I, I'd never do anything else. Hundreds of hours in that dude, game. Dude, let me show you, and, I, and I'm sure someone has a more impressive statistic. We don't have time to watch your yes. Total War no, video. I'm not yeah. sure yeah. Yeah. Total War video, <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> don't cut me off, motherfucker. <laughs> I just wanted to show you this. So Empire Total War, 116 hours. Napoleon Total War, 50 hours. Total War Attila, 108 hours. Total War Rome 2, 57 hours. Total War Shogun 2, 66 hours. And Total War Warhammer, 71 hours. So, yeah, Jesus it Christ. takes quite yeah. a bit of your time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so but you don't it, have to buy new games. There is no concept of time in Total yeah. War. <laughs> Uh, oh, really is Oh, okay. There really, really is an action. Oh, okay. When you put yeah. it that way. It's yeah. uh, the coined term from Civilization is that just one more turn gameplay. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. like, like look, we'll just do one more turn. Dude, like, two, I, there's so many times where it's like 2 o'clock in the morning and we just are finished recording our Total War Warhammer Let's Play of the Dwarves and the Chaos. Which we'll record another yeah. one this weekend. Right. And then. After we were done recording, I'm like, dude, that was fun. I want to keep playing. So I start. I, that's exactly when I started my Bretonian yes. campaign. I'm like, fuck. And I was like, now I'm back into it. I'm like, god <laughs> damn it. And it's just a time sink. Yeah, man. I know. But, um, but it's awesome. Like, it's yeah. just, uh, it's unlike any other game out there, really. Yeah. You know, it takes the strengths of, I love civ- I love civilization. Yeah. But the thing is, I always want it was like the actual battles. Yeah. You get like the actual battles and, ugh. It's just the best mix. And the reason we're talking about Total War right now is yeah. because Creative Assembly uh, came out, that's the developer, mm-hmm. um, and they wanted to like make sure their history title fans, yes. I mean, I love both, yeah. but they wanted to, they, we still are thinking about you guys. Mm-hmm. Um, quote, we have had many questions on when our next historical title was going to be available. Yeah. We're looking at a number of ways of bringing a variety of historical content out over the coming months and years rather than focusing on one singular project. Yeah. I don't know what that means. I have no idea what that means. That's really small games. Stated. Or yeah. I don't. I don't know what they they mean by this. Are they, they meaning like kind of what we're they're doing with Total War Warhammer Two? Kind of just like because it's already a pre-established platform. Now they're just adding like new. Maybe like, that is. Maybe like that, that is. Maybe that yeah. is what they're going to do. It's very possible. Yeah. Uh, according to community content editor Michael Whalen, Creative Assembly's next major historical title is currently in development with the team working on all areas of the game. Whalen added that. Quote, the game design is locked and asset creation is fully underway. And the team has, quote, seen some particularly jaw-dropping character and campaign map concepts that have really pushed the strong visual design of this release. We have also been collaborating with our first historical advisor, preeminent in his field and already bringing that world-leading expertise to bear on our designs and extensive research so far. Don't forget, it's an era that we haven't tackled yet, so we want to make sure we get it right. Creative Assembly is also thinking about producing additional content or standalones for some of our more recent historical titles. Developers that worked on Total War Rome 2 and Attila have formed new teams to investigate the opportunities. By quote unquote standalones, Wayland is likely referring to standalone expo- expansions built on existing games. Mm-hmm. Uh, meanwhile, Warhammer 2 is coming out in 2017. Here's my theory. Although I would love a uh, kind of like China 
unification. Me too. Yeah, the dynasty. Period, is yeah, the right. dynasty. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think they're going World War One. Really? Yeah, I think Girl, they are. that would I would just World... shit my pants. Yeah. <laughs> if they did World War One. World like, War that's One. My like, subject. If you think about it, if you think about it, the World War One does still the war tactics and stuff still does lend itself to like total war ish kind of gameplay you know like you still got your lines you still got your um you know your cavalry you got your artillery and all that stuff Mm -hmm. i mean i'm thinking that could be a decent you know Uh, yeah i would love to see how would they do trench warfare on the campaign map yeah that's hard that would be there's also there's an inherent advantage uh, a new design there though yeah you could like click and drag a, a trench across yeah. a specific area and yeah. it costs you more money yeah. as it goes or whatever. Yeah. And then those, you know, I mean? there's all kinds of stuff you could yeah. do with that. Because, like, if the, the way they stated that is like, oh, this is going to be w- the first of many of the same similar. I'm like, so maybe possibly World War Two, and uh, maybe That's like, really modern, though. Yeah, that's what I'm like. Because, like, people didn't like Empire and Napoleon yeah. quite as much. That's what I'm thinking. Not because they were worse games, yeah. but because they, they, the they had guns. Melee, yeah. you know? Um, but yeah, they're like, there this is, is a melee period, there, yeah, there's like, there are period that they never tackled. I'm yeah. like, there are very few of those. The other there. one I was thinking of, and I've kind of, this is not mm. objective. This is me. Something I've always kind of wanted yeah. was like a step up from Napoleon, like yeah. the late 1800s. Oh, okay. So you still have muskets, you still have melee combat, yeah. swords, horses, cannons, all that stuff. Mm-hmm. But like, it would be almost like a world map. They could even yeah. do sections. So you could have the U S if you played as the U S mm-hmm. you're, Colonizing the frontier, you're moving west. You're building railroads, mm-hmm. stuff like that. You're 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 pushing toward the Pacific coast. Right. If you're Britain, you're running your empire at the absolute yeah, pinnacle. Yeah. You're colonizing Africa yeah. and fighting the Zulu. You have India to take care of. You have yeah. all of these nations across the globe: Australia, huge. Canada. That game would be fucking huge. Well, you could do a Warhammer yeah. style cut it oh, up. Oh yeah, yeah, there you go. Okay. And you had you could you could still get your classic gameplay. Yeah. But you'd have all the, these like different nations and I don't know. Yeah, that's that's so, yeah, that'd be kind of crazy. There's all kinds of stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of things they yeah, could do. The, like you said, China would be something. Yeah. What else would they? I don't know where else they would go. Yeah. Maybe like early medieval, like the Vikings, Ooh. like like the like the four hundreds to the nine hundreds yeah. or something like that. Hmm. I don't I don't know. I don't know what else. Yeah, that would what be historical cool period that they would tackle yeah. that they've never done before. I don't know yeah. what that means. So interesting thoughts. Super, super interesting. Yeah. I hope we get a lot more details on that. But they're not gonna crowd Warhammer two announcements with that. So no. we probably won't hear about historical titles for twenty eighteen. Yeah, you know, so still a while. So yeah. yeah. Uh that is all of our topics for the day. Do we actually come in under an hour? Oh Just right barely. at an hour. Holy shit. Let's wrap right the shit. Up. Yeah, let's let's not push it any further. Yeah. We're pretty much done. Any final thoughts, guys, today? I'm hungry. Um, Village Inn breakfast for hell, dinner right hell, now? I'm dinner at um, almost 9 o'clock. Yeah, I'm so fucking hungry. <laughs> We're still young. We can eat at 9. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, okay, dude. You know, gotcha. like when you're older. Oh, I'm, not me. I'm going to eat you by 6 there, You guys right. are a little younger than me, so. So do you not want to go get Oh, I still want food. Oh. I just, I, <laughs> and I'll be very fucked up for me, so yeah. You <laughs> just be, uh, what do you eat? all eating? curmudgeonly and. Dude, does, like does you not home sit, and show over the place? It's not going to sit well. Let's just and you're say still I'm confused. I'm still Does your your like digestive system change after a certain time? Yeah, yeah. yeah just, just, <laughs> just like fuck. Dude. Immediate diarrhea. Yeah, it's like explosive. O'clock. Not okay. just, like, just psh, what, no matter what you eat. Yeah, no, no, even no. if you eat like a just a head of lettuce. Yeah, dude. Why would you eat a head of lettuce? Well, I'm just saying the most <laughs> the most tame <laughs> thing to your body. You can, Kevin just your, munching your on your body can just completely <laughs> handle with no problems. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, you just just it's mostly water. Just celery. It, it's mostly water, and it so it explodes. You just, you just get dysentery. Yeah, yeah pretty much. <laughs> you mean yeah. dysentery? He's like, yep, that's it. Yeah, that's pretty it. Pretty much it. All right, zero HP. Back to shit from beginning. We've looped. Yeah. We've quit and Tarantino our way to the end Quentin with shit again. <laughs> All right, peace out. All right, guys, lead up. Subscribe, lead up. Oh, yeah, subscribe. I want to finish with lead up.